That's right, Sean. The rally has just ended, and some enthusiastic folks behind me you can hear uh, not wanting this rally to end. Now, police estimate this was a little bit larger crowd than Monday's, about 5,000 people. There's also a little bit of a different feel. It felt more like a party. We saw beach balls batted in the air. There was a band, but the message remains the same. We want RDT back. They came by the busload. For the second time this week, Market Basket employees gathered to rally in support of ousted CEO Arthur T. DeMoulis. Arthur T. has done right by us, and it's our turn to uh, do it right by him. Chris right. Sylvia has worked at the Nashua Market Basket for five years, one of many New Hampshire employees rallying, saying this is about more than a job. I've been part of the Market Basket family for my entire life. My, my parents work for it, my sister works for it, like my entire family is for Market Basket. While the rally is going on, the board of directors, controlled by Arthur S. DeMoulis, is meeting in Boston. Employees say they hope the board gets their message. I'm hoping the board sees this crowd here, and actually I hope they say, what the hell did we do? And come to their senses and put Artie back in charge. It wasn't just employees attending. New Hampshire State Representative Robert Cushing addressed the crowd, saying legislators are joining with them. We're here on behalf of over 100 lawmakers in the state of New Hampshire who have signed a petition. <laughs> Symbolizing the struggle, a stuffed giraffe was unveiled. Employees saying sometimes you just have to stick your neck out. Employees say they're proud to stand behind RDT and will fight for him despite fear over losing their jobs. It's been extremely stressful, but I, you know, I started off scared and I started off stressed and, and now I'm, I'm defiant. And you can see some of those defiant employees remaining here in Tewksbury. Now, there was one young girl who was taken to, to, away in an ambulance. She appeared to be about 11 or 12 years old. The witnesses said she also appeared to be suffering from heat exhaustion. No update on her condition. Now, these employees say they are willing to rally as long as necessary, but they're also hoping that this will be the final rally that's necessary. Reporting live in Tewksbury, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9. Hey, thanks. Our coverage continues in Boston. Happening now, as Ray said, the Market Basket Board of Directors is meeting at the Prudential Center to discuss what's been going on over the last week. Kristen Carosa is live outside the PRU. And Kristen, what can you tell us at this hour? Sean, the board meeting is going on right now. Members arrived just before 9 a.m. Now, as you just saw, most Market Basket employees are in Tewksbury, but there were a few people here today to greet members as they walked in. Now, we spoke to two Market Basket employees from Chelsea and a customer from Somerville. They, along with employees from across three states, have been rallying and holding protests for a week now, fighting to get former CEO Arthur T. DeMoulis back in charge of the company. We weren't allowed to take video inside the Prue Tower today. But all three did try to speak with the board members. Eleanor Corcoran, the customer from Somerville, took it upon herself today to bring 100,000 signatures of customers who vow not to shop at the store unless RDT DeMoulis is back in charge. She says two board members did take some of the petitions she brought today, but most didn't give her the time of day, including Arthur S. DeMoulis, who showed up just before 9 a.m. Arthur S. didn't really even want to make eye contact with me. Um, I explained to him I'm a customer. Um, I'm here on behalf of customers. I, I'm here representing the customers, the people who um, shop at Market Basket, and he, he just walked away. He just completely walked away. He is a shareholder now. It is half of his business as well, and he just looked the customer right in the eye and basically said, you mean nothing to me. Now, no word on when this board meeting will end in Boston. We'll bring you more details as we get then. For now, we're live in Boston. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.